is my forever friend. It's rare to find someone who just gets you, someone you can confide in with your life, someone that through ups and downs will be there for you. You are my practice partner in middle school basketball, my teammate in all sports, and I just want to highlight that even though Elizabeth went on to play Division I lacrosse, she was the only girl on our bowling team in high school to be ranked in the county, so, that, so that's extremely impressive. I talked to her about Graham like I could hear the smile in her voice when she talked about him and I like immediately knew when he came to the house and they just bring out the best in each other all the time and I feel like in, in our lives there's nothing more than you want than it to just be easy than to just be performing at your best all the time and they have that. Graham and Elizabeth are two of my closest friends uh, two people that have had a big impact on my life. Uh, I think you're both tremendous, and I would think anyone in this room w would agree with that. Uh, just really happy for you guys. Wish you nothing but the best, and excited to see what you two do moving forward. So, cheers. Graham is an amazing son. He has integrity and discipline and is a loyal friend. He puts others before himself in all that he does and he has positive energy. Elizabeth, we're so thrilled to have you in our lives and in our family. And you are now the big sister to Andrew and Sam. They love knowing that. Chris and I pinch ourselves on how lucky we are to have Elizabeth as our daughter-in-law. Elizabeth, Chris and I love you, and we love that you love our son. To the love of my life, Woody, the big day is finally here and I still can't quite believe it. Words will do little justice to explain how you make me feel, how much your love means to me, and how excited I am to be joining our family. Fortunately, I have attached my Elizabeth Evernote to help me to try and explain all of this. At first, I used the note to help me keep track of your likes and dislikes ideas for possible date nights, <laughs> names of family members, etc. I think you'll get a good laugh of those early sections. But nowadays the note has primarily become a place to compile the many reasons that I love you. I'm sure you remember about two and a half years ago when we spent the day hiking at Bear Mountain and I shared with you that my biggest fear was living a life without a clear purpose or direction. And I didn't fully realize it at the time, but that clear purpose and direction was sitting right next to me. She can write great notes and stuff, um, like the day before, you know. Like yeah, for me, it takes cup. like three months, so yeah. I have to do like rough drafts and you know, and like all this editing and, and like rethink things through. To my dearest Graham, I can't believe we are finally here. I am so overwhelmed with love, joy, excitement, and anticipation of seeing you today. I have been dreaming, literally, about saying our vows to each other since the day we got engaged, if I'm being honest, maybe even before that. I feel that I have become my best me because of you. You have helped me appreciate the smaller things in life, be present in every moment, and to be accepting of everyone. Sorry. <laughs> I 
no longer can be me without you. And that makes me the happiest girl in the world. I'm so lucky to share life's journey with you. You are my best friend. I love you today, tomorrow, and always. I'm forever with you, whatever life may bring. Thank you for marrying me. You are my dream come true. Your sunshine, G. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs>In a marriage, a person who loves one another thinks of themselves and their spouse as one. There is not the loss of a single identity, but the power of two in a new life. You are witnessing here today two individuals ready to commit their lives to each other. Two individuals laying down their individual lives for a better life with their friend. That friend is the one they love, the one they want to bring children into the world with, the one who through their love will make their community, their church, and the world a better place to live in. Elizabeth and Graham are not the only ones laying down a piece of their life for their friend. All the people in the church today are giving a piece of their life for their friends. You are honoring this marriage by your presence. Just as we honor Jesus every time we come to church, we're laying down a piece of his life for his friends.
For those of you who don't know Graham, I want to tell you from a father-in-law's perspective, he's a home run. He's got it all. First, he comes from a very, very strong, loving family. That's huge. Huge. Second, Second, he loves my daughter the way I want my daughter to be loved. And let's face it, he's got terrific taste in women, hasn't he? <laughs> Graham, I think you hit it out of the park with this kid. Anyway, Graham, there's something that you should know, and your parents should know, and everybody here should know, that I know. Fine men like this don't just happen, all right? It takes years and years of guidance, structure, support, encouragement, discipline, time sacrifice and unconditional love just for starters. So for that, I got to thank your parents. RG and Chris. All Elizabeth ever wanted to do was play sports, but she was always the smallest one doing it. So her mother and I had to live through years of her getting beat up, knocked down, kicked in the face with soccer balls, her arms broken, her ankles sprained, you name it. I remember one time she was in a basketball game and she, it was a collision, she got knocked down to the ground, she slammed down. And I looked over at Elizabeth and Elizabeth was on the floor and her eyes was kind of half closed from the impact. And she was scrambling between some girl's leg to get the free ball. Elizabeth, I should probably thank you for all those years of pain and suffering because you taught me more about courage, desire, and will during that time than I'd ever learned in my life. And I want you to know that if you need someone to help you get up from being knocked down, that I take great comfort in knowing that you now have one of the true gems, one of the finest young men I've ever met in my life to help you do that. I love the two of you so much. I am so happy for both of you. I think you deserve each other. I truly believe you're a match made in heaven. So I remember back a couple years ago when Graham first told us uh, that he was going to be bringing Elizabeth home to us uh, in Northbrook for the first time. Uh, I was a little shocked at first because um, this was a very big step for, uh, for some of us hate boys because uh, up until that point, we had never gone to that level of a relationship commitment level. Like about 20 minutes before Elizabeth came home, I went up to my mom and I'm like, Mom, does Elizabeth really like her family? And then my mom just goes, well, I mean, she likes Graham. I mean, I'm not sure about us. I couldn't ask for a better older brother. You're a great role model, and I couldn't be happier for you and Elizabeth. Love you guys. started her nursing career at Sacred Heart University where her freshman year every single person told her she would not be able to play a Division I sport and complete the nursing program in four years simply because it had never been done before. Elizabeth went on to prove everybody wrong by not only becoming the first and only person to complete the nursing program and play Division I lacrosse in four years, but also by becoming captain of the team, earning a scholarship, and winning three consecutive NEC championships during her time there. I've put a lot of thought into um, what it is about you. Why, why do people love you so much and what makes you so special? And Growing up, I really thought it was because you were just so cute, that's why. <laughs> um, but now I know the real reason why, and it's your heart. 
Uh, you are the most compassionate person that I have ever met. And outside of your job as a nurse where you care for strangers all day long, you are an incredible friend and sister.